The sky is the limit when it comes to drone technology. So let's take a look at 7 unique and really impressive drones. At number 7, the crash resistant quadcopter. Most of us, including me, have crashed a drone or two and it can be quite expensive. NCCR has come up with a solution to this problem and has built yet another really cool drone. The mini multi-rotor has a flexible frame which is locked around a magnet. So the drone is rigid during flight, but it can also take a beating during crashes and still remain intact. The mini drone also incorporates a simple design which I'm sure somebody will try to copy and market. But we'll just have to wait and see if scalability becomes a problem and if it's really limited to smaller design drones. At number 6, the ominous Half-Life Scanner Drone. The real-life scanner drone was built by a talented Russian who may want to start a combine invasion. But it's one of the coolest video game depicted drones out there. The scanner is technically a quadcopter and it can fly for around 11 minutes per charge. It's also built out of carbon fiber and has your typical DJI NASA-like controller. But don't worry, it's not linked to the combine and there's only one device for now. But if I ever did see this drone, I'd probably either try to hide or maybe even hit it with a crowbar. And number 5, the Quantix Drone. This is yet another cool drone which kind of looks like an X-Wing, but it combines the advantages of vertical takeoff and horizontal flight. This allows the Quantix to fly for over 45 minutes and go over 40 miles per hour. Another really cool feature is that the drone can automatically take off, fly and land in the exact same spot. It can also map out very detailed images in color RGB, so it will likely be used for the energy and agricultural sector. The Quantex is still not officially out just yet, and unfortunately you'll probably need to win the lottery in order to buy one for personal use. At number 4, the Hydrogen Fuel Cell Drone. One of the biggest hurdles to drone flying is the limited flight time, and you might just get 20-30 to 30 minutes on a typical hexacopter, and your battery power is pretty much used up. The Hydron has conquered this limitation, and the fuel cell drone can fly for over 4 hours. The 1800 is also even rainproof, but it will likely be very expensive. It's also worth noting that the hydrogen tank can stand drops from over 600 feet, although I would not try to test this future. We will just have to wait and see if the hydrogen will be the next best thing, and it could be a huge game changer to drone technology. At number 3, the one of a kind jet turbine quadcopter. One of the most impressive drones is in development phase, and it can now be controlled via gloves, Iron Man style. Each jet turbine produces about 25 pounds of thrust, and it also has thrust vectoring for steering control. The creator also has plans to use bigger engines in a rescue drone which can actually lift up people, and hopefully not take them to a Skynet processing plant. The biggest downside to this jet machine is that it will cost exponentially more than any prop driven drone on the market, so you'll likely never be able to fly one anytime soon. And number 2, the bizarre Bat Bot. Batman would be impressed by this new high-tech tool which mimics its real-life counterpart. It's one of the first drones to have soft, articulated wings which can execute complex flight maneuvers. Each wing can fill up with air and then quickly deflate during its downward cycle. This weird automation gives the bat the ability to turn and dive on cue. I would definitely buy this drone if it can fly around and eat mosquitoes, but for now there's only one prototype. But it's still really cool and maybe just a little bit creepy. At number 1, the impressive Corminent UAV. Designed by Tactical Robotics, the UAV is fully autonomous and can carry over 1100 pounds of payload to over 30 miles away. It is powered by one single turbo shaft engine which drives two enclosed lift fans and the back thrusters. The automated vehicle still has some imperfections with its flight control system, but it will likely be on the battlefield in only a few years. And we'll just have to hope that it's just a cargo vehicle and not used as a human killing machine. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel.